Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I just realized today that I have yet to create a video on how to not just create a capture filter, but to save it. And uh, we do that quite a bit in our classes, and, we, and in troubleshooting, you probably have to reuse and constantly use the same filter time and time again. So what I'm not referring to is this most recently used list here. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actually saving it in the filter file. Okay. So we are going to create a capture filter for my Wi-Fi Mac address. Now why would I want to do that? Because in the real world sometimes you have other protocols in the background that you're not familiar with. For example, if I was to do an IPv4 filter here, then I would miss all the IPv6 stuff in the background. Okay, So that's what we're going to do is a Mac filter. Ether, host, and then we need our Mac address. Well how do we do that? with Windows Vista and higher you have that get Mac space dash V as in Victor command and spits out all your interfaces and Mac addresses so here I can right click go to mark select all the stuff enter paste there you go now obviously if you don't have Vista or higher or if you don't have Windows at all then obviously commands will vary so I'm sure you'll know how to do that so there's my command now it's not saved yet obviously so I'm gonna click on my capture filter the dialog box it appears and if you take a look it automatically filled this in so I want to call this my Wi Fi Mac okay and by doing that now I've given it a, a name so in the future I'll know what that is now it doesn't save it yet don't click OK this is the biggest mistake I see people make you're gonna click the new button again alright because right now if you take a look in the bottom there is nothing here see so this is not here so we click new now scroll down and there it is all right this is the same type of idea if you were to edit the text file manually you need to make sure the last line is always blank right I'm gonna click OK and I'm not gonna hit start right now I'm just gonna cancel it for a moment I want to show you something else if you did want to do this stuff manually you go to help and about okay and in the about screen you've got your folders and you could go to your personal configuration folder just double click that link and there you'll find C filters. If you double click that, it'll ask you what you want to open with, and we'll just use WordPad. And there it is. So again, if we go to the very last line, click, see, there's a blank line here. So if you did want to make your own filters in this text file, then go ahead, but don't forget the blank line. All right? Now that you know where the file is, you could email this, you could copy it, you could back it up, you can share it with people you work with, whatever. And there are tons of filters around the net, uh, internet that you could find to put into that. So there you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.